Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will continue with the uh, lens cleaning of uh, this um, AIS Nikko 85mm 1.4 and um, yeah you can see it, it maybe looks absolutely well okay but if I put a torch through it, well, you can see maybe there are some dust or some a few points, but it's actually a bit different uh, because there is a lot of dirt and dust in this lens on some of the lens elements. I haven't found a uh, repair manual for this lens, so uh, I have no idea what I'm actually going into. But there should not be so many lenses, or oh, there might be. If you see at the all the reflections from, which is actually from the uh, lens elements in here, so there must be some, at least a few. <laughs> so, uh, and I will simply um, jump into it quickly uh, because it will. I think it will take some time. I will use some lighter fluid and I will use pack pad uh, which you can go find on the internet. There will be a link in the description below. We will probably also need uh, some nail polish remover with acetone uh, just to loosen up some screws uh, there might be in here and then we need some lens tools i i really like to those uh, to work with those rubber tools in many different size there's also be a description in the um, when you can see below the video but also the japan hobby tool uh, rubber cone could be very handy but since this is a very actually big lens and with big lens element, there might be some. Therefore, I will also use uh, some of my homemade uh, tools, lens tools, which I like. I prefer those because they're very stable. And I have never scratched a lens element with those. So, a few... Um, uh, lens sucker. This is from Japan Hobby Tool. This one is really good. And this is a smaller one from Nord uh, something. I cannot remember the. I haven't found it uh, after I bought them. So, uh, but there might be some at micro, maybe microtools.com or something. We will need some few, a few screwdrivers, a uh, flathead. 1.2 millimeter. Uh, this is a Vera uh, brand, uh, really good quality. And uh, I will also use my modified uh, PH00, also from Vera, because I filed the very pointy tip away with a needle file, and then it's it actually works very very good on Japan uh, lenses and photo equipment. Well, you can also go on uh, ifixit.com and buy a set of four of those, uh, which is JIS, um, and going from, I think it's 2mm up to 4mm in diameter, those, which is also very good. But I prefer the short one because it's more, you have more better control of it. This is all on the other hand. It's also very good when you need to go deeper into a lens or camera, whatever. Some tweezers is also very handy. Different shapes and size. A uh, dentist tool to make scratches. And a pencil, which is good to set marks on lenses. Lens on the side of the lens element. Not directly on it, but more on the side. <clears throat> so you have an idea where did the lens element actually sit in the, I mean, all the way around here. A lens blower is also very handy. 
we might also use some uh, cotton buds could be but still very handy now let's jump into it since I've been into the lens before um, it should be quite easy to actually get into the uh, I will loosen the mount because it will make it easier to actually uh, take things out and especially when you put it back in again now remember this lens have a double helicoid it will say the normal focusing helicoid and it also have a back it will say the floating element which will when you turn it will turn on the back and focusing and make some movement but uh, if we look here on the front the front will not move if I turn the focusing ring so be very careful when you actually uh, disassemble the lens <coughs> and make sure to to set uh, marks where the uh, when you work with that especially on the back here when the helicoid comes off so now the very beginning is the mount if some screws are really tight uh, and really hard to get loose you can move you can use some uh, nail polish remover on a cotton pot and simply dip something on here on each screw and let it sit for yeah yeah a few seconds and it will soften the thread lock if there has been some now over the with the uh, mount and uh, the screws are not um, magnetic so I mean, I mean not in this lens well maybe they are no they are not maybe I should invest in a battery driven um, small screwdriver could make things a little easier but well we'll see so set the aperture to something 16 I mean not 16 but yeah 16 um, and then take out the mount here but before doing so we'll look no, there's no problem with that hope for that and that's it So away with the screws so you know where they are now to the front there is a set screw um, one set screw here on the uh, side of the front ring here <coughs> that actually hold the whole lens assembly in place so we'll just loosen it a few turns there's no need for unscrew it fully now turn this until it comes off so put it aside now here we can see there is a kind of a guide pin here so the uh, lens assembly actually sits where it should at the um, I mean all time uh, no matter what's actually happened to the um, to what's happened on the back here it will never move and this is not a screw it's a actually adjustment uh, eccentric kind of so no no unscrewing this or no movement of this there's no need for it now set the lens to infinity before you take it out so there that's important because then the back lens I mean the back helicoid uh, will also sit in correct position and the front will also <coughs> I mean the whole focus is in focuses focus system is sit correct now flip turn it over and let just uh, 
the focusing system comes out. Do not move anything here. There's no need for that. And uh, we can just have a look how it looks before we do anything. Um, you can see the focusing, I mean the uh, aperture fork here and the lever here for the that moves the actual blades in here. So now <clears throat> here we have the actual uh, lens assembly all in one and as I said before uh, in this lens there was actually a mark here somebody has in the factory said it and it really relates to the uh, pin here which is on the other hand connected to the focusing fork in here and it should set there again when you're done with the uh, with the lens now since I've been into the lens before I know exactly where the helicoid here comes off um, and you can see it in the other videos so there is no need for I mean tell it again but just be sure how this comes off so I simply turn it counterclockwise and here it actually comes off so it is and now we are facing the, the very back lens helicoid here and um, then we can actually not yet yes we can take out the uh, the retaining ring here that hold the lens in place but take care of the uh, the very curved um, actually the very convex uh, lens element it could be a, a concave or con I mean yeah convex on one side and concave on the other side I do not have a uh, lens diagram of this lens but now you can see the rear front is fully exposed I mean almost and the back here so uh, what do we gonna do well I will simply just put this on again the very back put it on here find the thread there and say so and simply go to the front lens group and take that out because then I have separated the the front and can work with that and uh, when I work with the back in here uh, it's not fully exposed to well, harm anything so what I need to do is uh, unscrew the retaining ring here which you can see there is a knot there and there so and I think I will use some <laughs> nail polish remover to soften the thread lock because I think without knowing it of course uh, they have used some thread lock to hold the retaining ring in here in place so one can actually add a little sometimes you have to use a lot and um, do it in the where the two notches is and simply add uh, the drops so they can suck in to soften there the, the thread lock if there is any you might also go around the retaining ring it can sit tight <coughs> I have no idea because I haven't been into the lens but as you can see here the um, the nail polish remover will simply um, suck into the thread 
and we can just hopefully get it off and see how it it will go and uh, I should maybe try to do it first with a lens tool um, just have to find the correct size here maybe it's a bit too big no oh, way too big <laughs> sometimes they do not have the correct size for this maybe this one is fine for that not really <clears throat> so I will simply continue with some of those uh, homemade lens tool which I hopefully can get to actually work and it would be the same if I have a lens tool and uh, hold on a second so there <clears throat> wow it sits really tight so we simply have to add more uh, nail polish remover since it's really really hot and hopefully it will work Just let it suck in. <clears throat> we just have to let it sit a while. Hmm. Where did I have a napkin here? So sometimes it could be a really hard thing to do. Um, but in the meantime, we can actually put the lens on a stand and try to actually unscrew the the back retaining ring here because uh, I also need to unscrew that if it's possible hopefully and it looks like it is and we will probably do another go <coughs> can take some time to open the lens so and now I will just try to see if I can with another tool maybe this one can do it no uh, I will try with this extremely sticky rubber because it's actually um, it's really sticky from a an old record player uh, which will press on the, on the center pin. So let's see if it's possible to actually unscrew it by pressing it. Uh, yeah, this comes free. <laughs> Now we can actually see this coming loose. Oh, here it is. Flip it over, and then we have our lens element here. It's completely flat, as I see it. Maybe it's slightly concave. Um, on the back here and a lot more concave on the other side 
<clears throat> but it, to me it looks actually almost flat. But let's see how it looks when we throw, look through it. Well, a lot of dirt and dust. So I will simply just try to clean this lens element and see how it will go. And I need a kind of a stand to put it on. <clears throat> and um, this actually fits very good. There are many combinations you can put those uh, lens tools. <clears throat> so I'll just begin with the inside first and with a peg pad and a smaller <clears throat> a smaller one of those I simply cut them into a smaller size because it make it more we'll say economical. So, and simply do it there. And out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it helps a lot, and we will simply just do, do it again. And you just need to put a very light pressure on it, just to to move the the paper here. And now it looks it looks really much better. There may be some something on, but we'll just turn it over and use, I mean, do the other side. Take another corner here. So there. Yeah, it actually helps a lot. But let's see how it looks. Well, it actually helps a lot. There are some small hairs here which I can just put away. And now I can simply put it back into the uh, mount. And doing that I will simply put the the lens into the the retaining ring so I put the the back here on it and screw it in then move the retaining ring back I mean counterclockwise to catch the thread just click and here we go use the rubber tool to turn the retaining ring <coughs> and here we are back again um, so we can just put this aside and continue with the possibly the uh, the front here, but I will just um, add a little nail polish remover on the uh, retaining ring here on the back, so I can sit and and soften the thread lock if there is any. Unscrew this. Mm. Wow, this is really, really tight. Well, 
I will just uh, continue with the <laughs> with the back here uh, to see how it will go because uh, it also need to have some cleaning. So there. Well, maybe I should first before doing anything uh, just try to actually where did it go here just try to take the back retaining ring here off um, with this rock tool Just find the correct size. It could be this one. Maybe it's too big a little. Nah. I think it will work. I think it will work. But. Not really, it's not really, really so good, but let's see, <laughs> it's hard. <clears throat> ah. I just have to take a rest. Okay, I actually got it free. I, it was just to actually sit better and and uh, make the pressure correct on the retaining ring and it's difficult when you just sit here you need more stable um, to sit with the lens uh, with the lens tool <laughs> so it's free and I will just let this pop into my hand and see what will actually happen here. Wow. There's one big lens element. Okay. That's good to know. And it's actually a cemented lens group. Uh, it's a really really concave in here and really really convex on the other side so and when I took it out it was actually sitting in this position so the I have my guide pin here and uh, I will just set a pencil mark here so now it should sit just a little there's no need for doing any scratch or something like that because it's only the lens surface we will work with so if it's possible to have it here hmm, maybe so uh, Another one here, mm. maybe better. I think this one will work really good. So, and use another one. And simply, ah, let's uh, hold on. Let's have a look how and see how it looks. There was some uh, I just touched the lens surface with the rubber tool, but uh, it doesn't matter. But uh, let's see how it will look. Really, a lot of dirt. 
and I'm very sure it can be a lot better. So let's go ahead. And I think we maybe have to do it twice. Well, well, it actually looks better <laughs> than it was. And we can just clean the... No, we'll just do it another go, another go with another piece of, of uh, Uh, yeah, white. <clears throat> mm hmm. Well. <laughs> It really, really looks a lot better. Flip it over and we will take another wipe. <clears throat> and let's see how it will go. And the lighter fluid will simply take away if there is any oil or something on the lens surface, which is really good. We'll just do it again. Sometimes I actually use the Eclipse to take some stuff away and combine it with the uh, lighter fluid. Hmm. Well, it looks a lot more clear. There's just something there that might be taken away with the... I mean... It looks a little better, but there seems to be something in between the two lens element, which I can not do anything about. Um, at the moment. <clears throat> so I will simply just take some uh, Eclipse and try to see how it will possibly take some stuff away. It's good to have some options to when cleaning lens element. Oh, there. Yeah, it helps. A lot. So, <clears throat> and I can actually just do it on the other side. Uh, because in this case, it seems to be the Eclipse that uh, actually do a good job. Okay, there was something here. <clears throat> Which is gone. Yeah. It looks really, really good. There might be some dirt and dust in here. Well, I mean, compared to before, uh, 
it looks a lot better. There's just some piece of uh, dust in here, which I can just blow away. So then put this uh, lens aside and uh, I will uh, just clean the other lens element. Uh, but I need to come into the the very front group so uh, I will just need to take a much bigger tool um, and then be back in a few seconds okay I found a <coughs> what's actually wrong here uh, I thought it was only necessary to actually add a lot of uh, nail polish remover, remover on the uh, retaining ring here but there's a tiny hole here which they actually have add some uh, thread lock so I need simply to uh, add the uh, nail polish remover into this uh, tiny hole here to hopefully let it suck in so I will take this huge tool and try to actually unscrew it but I need to get off camera to have a, a better grip on this well <clears throat> it is really really tight this uh, retaining ring so I will just let it stay for some hours and um, let the uh, nail polish remover and I also try with uh, some isopropyl alcohol 99% to maybe soften the thread lock but until that uh, I will simply just put in the uh, the next lens element here, which I already have cleaned it. Find the mark I set somewhere, it will say there. And it should sit in line with the adjustment screw here. And for that I will just put the, uh, the lens element into the retaining ring because then I only need to have the uh, I mean do not hold in directly on the lens and simply put it in so it's in line with that correct there just put it in flip it over and simply screw in the retaining ring gently tighten the ring so that's it and now simply put in the uh, the back here and I can just Where did my mark go? Somewhere over here. Should be there. Catch the thread and screw it in. So now it actually looks much, much better to me. So I will set it, put it aside and uh, let it 
I mean, I have actually added a lot uh, thread lock. I mean, <laughs> not thread lock, but the nail polish remover with the S stone. Hopefully, it will soften the thread lock. But I will just put it aside and uh, continue sooner. So that's all for now. Now this is the thing I found out uh, that uh, I could simply um, clamp my lens tool onto a stable table and uh, here you can see I use two clamps uh, so it sits extremely tight and then I can simply you can see it is really pretty long but um, I can simply add my uh, I mean <laughs> put the uh, the lens on here and um, into the two notches which we can get here there and with both hand well I have to hold the camera but uh, you can use a lot more force uh, to simply unscrew the the uh, retaining ring or the lens group or whatever uh, could be uh, whatever needs to be uh, tightened so uh, this is the way one could actually do it in an easy way because uh, I it, this is the biggest <laughs> compass I could find so that's it so see you we continue with the video and now I will simply continue with the uh after I, I have unscrewed this uh, the lens element and the <coughs> not really the retaining ring it was more the um, the actual front lens group that uh, sits extremely tight even if I put a lot of acetone in the hole here as you can see uh, but I really I mean nail polish remover didn't work alcohol didn't work uh, lighter fluid didn't work, uh, cellulose thinner didn't work, so only acetone works as it should. Now, then I can simply use a uh, proper tool, it's a gasket <laughs> from the hardware store, which is really good, sticky, and I cut it out so it has a better shape and do not damage any lens. So I can simply unscrew it and then uh, continue with the front lens group. So it says click and then I can flip it over and here we look into the aperture system uh, which is quite amazing made. Uh, this is really good working so uh, I will do nothing about it <clears throat> as you can see yeah so it is now continue with the front lens group and I um, I think I will simply uh, yeah just continue with the front and there is actually a retaining ring uh, which I as you can see loosen it with my um, with my rubber tool no, <laughs> not my rubber tool, my uh, old fashioned, not professional, well, but it works as it should. And uh, I think it's a good idea to actually mount it on a, uh, with the two clamps on a table and then you can have a lot of more force to, especially with the, those uh, Oxon uh, rubber grip, uh, rubber tool, I mean, <laughs> rubber gloves, and which is extremely um, sticky, so it, it will uh, it will really work. And then I will simply use the other of my old uh, compasses 
to simply uh, uh, unscrew the uh, front lens group itself uh, and simply unscrew it. Of course, uh, I have um, actually loosened it uh, on. I mean, before. Uh, th th this is just to show you how it can uh, it actually be done. Uh, but if things are simply too tight, so that's the thing. And then we continue with the video. So I can just continue. But let's have a look inside how it looks. Well, okay. <laughs> As you can see, there is a lot of dirt. I've just uh, put a fingerprint on the front, but doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> but you can see there is a little lot. So, so uh, I can just continue with using this rubber tool gasket to simply unscrew the retaining ring which holds the front element, lens element. And so, so it is and uh, nice and easy. <clears throat> and then they're very convex, uh, I mean on the front, uh, front lens. And for doing that, I found out a um, I mean to take it out. I found out that a, um, a sucker, a lens sucker, <coughs> which is from an iPhone tool set uh, to repair it. Uh, well, one could actually just put it on. So there. And before I take it out, uh, there should, I set a mark here, somewhere here, on the side, uh, which will be the almost same here as I said here maybe it's easy to see but you can see it's a plan convex lens um, which looks nice and I just need to find a stand to put it on when cleaning the lens surface so I think this one the 74.6 millimeter would be a nice thing to put it on and uh, I think actually I will do the inside first because then it's easier to put the the front in uh, with the lens hooker so put it on a good stand it could be this one which looks which looks uh, a little smaller but still have the the shape here to that fits the lens but let's see how it looks before well there are some fingerprints that mine actually but it's not bad I mean it could be worse it's more the inside I mean the the next uh, this lens element that would be a lot more dusty which we can actually see here there's a lot of of loss in uh, contrast when a lens is that dirt, dirty. <laughs> so now we're we'll just to use a uh, peg pad. Uh, as you can see, wipe. And where did it go? My oh, yeah, it's here. <clears throat> just use my tweezer to. Take out a lens uh, paper, so, and simply add the tissue here. And simply put a lot of gasoline on, <laughs> and give it some good cleaning. Oh, it's clean. Well, we'll just do it again. <clears throat> Use another area of the tissue. 
just put a light pressure on it's uh, flu uh, the lighter fluid and the uh, lens tissue that will do the work not the pressure as you can see it looks really good and um, I think it will be good. <laughs> then I can just put it on a bigger stand, not this one. Mm, no, it's too small. So I can use the other one here and put this. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea. I will just do it here because this it fits okay. <clears throat> and then use another tissue and simply move around so there's something in there sometimes there is a bubble or something so I think I will just try to actually use some uh, Eclipse. <clears throat> Sometimes it's not the there's not lighter fluid, not the only thing that works, but so it's good. And sometimes, actually, sometimes uh, hydrogen peroxide really works when uh, it comes to cleaning lens, no matter what is on, almost. <laughs> I can just give it a go with lighter fluid. And the coating will not do, I mean, the the cleaning fluid will not do anything to the lens uh, coating. I mean, how could you actually clean your lens if it uh, if there is something on? So uh, would you would the lens coating disappear if you use a lens cloth and some uh, fluid in like this or this? No. Not at all. The coating is extremely hard, just so you know it. So I can just put it in again. And I could put it in the retaining ring here. So, like this. And Sometimes I see it's hard to see if there's on the outside or the inside here. Wow, looks good. And then I can use the rubber tool here to make it more easy to actually put the um, the lens body uh, into so click it has to say click when finding the correct thread sometimes it could be a little difficult so here we are and then screw it in gently And then there is there. And now I can actually take the inner uh, retaining ring here for the for the back lens group. 
And I also set a mark here, tiny mark here. You will not see it in the picture at all. Um, so uh, there's no problem with that. But I actually add a lot um, as a tone in here. And uh, I could only, only unscrew it with those grip, I mean, sticky gloves. And uh, it would be absolutely possible to <coughs> unscrew it. And then we'll just continue with the Maybe the mark will move away when you turn it, the retaining ring, but it doesn't matter. You can always put it into correct place when you put on the retaining ring. So, and this uh, lens is uh, also a huge one as I see it. Um, let's see what's happened. Okay, there is more than one lens element there's actually two well i didn't know so better we actually put a mark here too on the um, so then we know where they should sit and this is how it looks This is slightly concave, and this is slightly uh, convex. And of course, the the front here is really, really convex. <laughs> uh, and the inside here is also really concave. So, but which lens is actually bad? So let's see what actually happened here. Is it the inner lens or just the back? Well, there's no idea to do anything about this. There might be some dirt, I mean dust. Um, so I will actually just blow it away. And put it aside somewhere. But it's more on the inside here, this uh, the con concave here, which is actually a lot of dirt. You might see there's something. It's not really on the lens surface here. It looks absolutely clean. So I wouldn't do anything about it here. But uh, so I will simply put this those two lens element in again and say that's fine so what amazing glass work here so there and simply put it in it looks fine to me small dirt on the inside okay that is really tight fit let's see how okay fine You might think, okay, why not clean the rest of the lens element surface? Well, if it's uh, if it looks fine, well, to me, it's there's no idea to clean all the lens element if they uh, there is only dirt on some of it. I might be wrong. Well. So <clears throat> and now I will clean the inner here. Uh, if there was some uh, 
fungus in here I would not uh, I would should really take care when using hydrogen peroxide so uh, I will simply just continue with the with the lighter fluid and say that's fine and the new tissue here wipe and And let's just, oh wow, it's a deep lens. So, wow. <laughs> uh, well, we'll give it another, another go. Pretty, I think. It's really good. So uh, let's see what's actually happened to this lens. Well, oh, there was some <laughs> dust, dust on the front here. And there might be some in the back. There's still something on here. It could be something they have used uh, in the past. So sometimes I actually use a a lens cloth. Because sometimes it works pretty good uh, compared to a um, compared to a uh, lens wipe. Yeah, it helps. So maybe it will turn out to be okay. Oh, there's some small hairs on, but they will disappear when so. And then uh, there might be something on the back here. I can just turn the uh, back lens group off there. Maybe there was something on here. Yeah. And there also might be something here. Oh, I can see there is some something on. was better <clears throat> then put on the back lens group find the correct thread of course I have the mark here <clears throat> and then turn it all the way over here to this mark and simply put in the the front lens group So, put it on the on the rubber and simply put it in. Find the correct thread. There. Um, I think it looks much better <clears throat> so you 
actually uh, could take this as a demonstration how to actually open up the lens and uh, possibly well might uh, be some small spots which I could take away after uh, but let's have a look yeah there's something on the back here uh, but uh, to me it looks much cleaner than it was actually so and um, yeah there may be something on in here which I don't like so I will just open this up again <clears throat> and uh, see if it's possible to actually do it better and the way I did my tool go. this one here from my record player and And then turn it over and let it uh, fall into the to the um, retaining ring. And yeah, it it doesn't really look so good. <coughs> we'll just make another go. Here, where do I have a stand better? This one should be fine. And something good more stable here so and I will simply just give it another go in inside here a tissue thinking about making me a clean room uh, so it could be better to cleaning lens elements so um, I might do that when I have the time <laughs> yeah So we can just flip it over and do the other side. Yeah, it was better. Then put in the um, the back lens in the ring here and say so there find the thread oh gosh so there <laughs> so and now it looks really much better so <clears throat> yeah I think it's fine for now and then add the floating element here click sys and then it goes in to the correct point here Oh, there was something that comes in always. <laughs> it will be interesting to see what's the difference in contrast with when this uh, lens is uh, when I try to take a picture <coughs> after this treatment. And then uh, the lens 
the uh, <clears throat> there. Oh, yes. so set the lens to infinity, aperture ring to sixteen, and also set the uh, this point here uh, all the way over to that way, and this one also have to be all the way over there. So when the back uh, focusing system helicoid has to sit there where the remark is and then uh, it should be possible to just put the lens in uh, the guide pin is here and it goes into the notch here so it should be possible just to put it over and uh, have the guide pin here I mean the guide pin and the notch so it should just go in so let's see if it's possible one need to move it a little back and forth where did the guide pin go there so here we are does it work yeah and it also works there fine now flip it over you can just put the cap on and then set the lens to near end oh gosh I missed something hmm this uh, <laughs> ring I miss I know that was something but we just do it again no one is perfect so there this ring comes on there and we just put it on again and hopefully try to catch the correct so does it work yeah works the aperture is working so good focus ring to near end and the ring goes on the name ring and uh, says click somewhere Come on, click, then screw it in. Take care of the little set screw because if you move the the focusing ring, you could damage the hole in here. So take care of that. Just tighten the lens. <coughs> uh, it could be that you need to actually screw the screw in a little and uh, move the the ring a little to catch the original notches I mean holes in there it could be that there is something there and simply it's not done yet there yeah that's the correct hole because then it's deeper in than the surface and then I can actually just move my focusing ring and make a test shot <clears throat> so we will have a look at that um, yeah that's all for me uh, hope you enjoy the content and can use the info you maybe can you clean it more cleaner than I can but uh, yeah that's it uh, let's have a test shot bye bye